Hello. In this tutorial, we cover the basic use of shares in Amahi 7. We show how to add, modify, and remove shares from your Amahi 7 server. Amahi establishes several shares for you to use as defaults. Uh, those include books, docs, movies, and so forth. To access the shares setup area from your Amahi dashboard, click on Setup and then on Shares. Here you will see all the shares that are pre-configured in your server. If you click on any share row, say on books, you will see the details about it and will be able to manage its properties. Those properties include access, visibility, permissions, and location. Also note the delete button in the upper right corner. We will look into that later. First, let's look at access. With a check in the all users block, this share will be accessible to anyone that has access to the server. If this checkbox is not checked, more options become available to allow you to limit access to only authorized Amahi users and or to guests. You further have the option to make the share accessible but not writable by anyone. It is also possible to tailor permissions to provide more granular control of shares. Here, with all users not selected, you are able to provide access control and writable control on an individual basis. Also included is permissions for a guest account. Let's say we want our primary user, but not guests, to have access. In this case, access should be checked for those users you wish to have access and then checked for those you don't. If you want the user to also have write permissions for this share, click on Writable. The option to provide individual write access to a share is especially useful when you want to, for example, store your entire family picture archive on your server for everyone to see, but not delete. You can prevent deletion of files by anyone other than those you specifically designate. The permissions icon is there to clear all the permissions on the files in the shares. This may be needed if some apps put files there and the permissions do not allow modifications or removal. This operation needs confirmation because it cannot be reverted. Next is visibility. This option is available if you want to make the share unlisted. Users with the right permissions can still access the files, but the share is never listed to those browsing the server. Let's look at location. This is an advanced configuration and should generally be left to the default setting. This is the file path in Linux of this particular share. Here are some examples of when you would want to change it. One would be to point two shares to one disk location with the same data but different share permissions. Another example would be if the path to the data changes, like when you add a drive or replace it. Clicking on the file location allows you to edit the file path of the share. Finally, you can delete this share using the delete share option in the upper right hand corner. However, even though the share is deleted from Amahi, the folder and the files in that folder are not. This is not a proper way to delete the files associated with a share. It's always best to delete all files from a share or move them somewhere else before deleting the share itself. Now that you know the control that Amahi provides for your shares, let's make a share and delete it. In the bottom center of the shares tab is a button for new share. Now, enter the name of your share. Amahi will verify that the name is available and will automatically assign and verify the path. Now, select if the share should be visible or not, and then whether it ought to be read-only, meaning not writable, by default. Once you have made your selections, click Create. You should be able to see your new share now, which in our example is called ABC. If we want to delete this share, we can just click on Delete ABC, and Amahi will ask just to make sure. Click OK, and that's it. You've successfully deleted the share. Now let's look at how to access the files from Windows. To access the data from the doc sh share, open a file browser, not a web browser, a file browser, and enter slash slash hda slash docs, and the data in the shares will show up. You can then access files, create new folders in it, and so forth. And that's about it.
There are more options available with advanced settings enabled, but we will look at those in another screencast. Thanks for watching.